Idaho is my new favorite state. Oh yeah, welcome to Idaho. Big bike, small bike. This is this is one of the better rides that we that we've done. Something about being in the mountains too. This is beautiful. There's a lot more forest fires up this way. Uh, the fire is just all north of us over here. Definitely monitoring the situation. I hope we miss the big rain. Yeah. All right, well, long chilly ride. Here we go. Uh, we're we're a little behind. A little behind schedule. Oh my gosh! Holy cow, dude! Just chill. Just chill for a minute. It's working. Let's get on the road. Two, three hours to find an awesome camping spot. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Rocky Mountain Idaho Adventure Tour. You know, about two weeks ago, we started working on this route. Uh, we, we really wanted to check out Idaho, and uh, we know that the Idaho Backcountry Discovery Route goes up through here and all the work that they've done, and there's some pieces that we wanted to hit of that, uh, but we wanted to do something a little different. We wanted to maybe do a loop out of it instead of a, you know, the end, end to end on the state. And then we had a really good friend, Charles Rhodes, and he, he's been all over Idaho. We kind of talked a little bit and kind of put some things together so it had worked for a week. So a week's worth of Idaho. Uh, any bike can do it, even the big bikes. So it's, it's, not as, it's not as hard as some of the rides that we've done. I would recommend a pretty decent dirt tire on this one and a skid plate, but it's not like the other rides that we've done that are somewhat gnarly in places. And for all the details, all the routes, all the you know, points of interest and everything else, make sure and check out our blog at RM Rides. So we're doing this ride a little different. We've only had about a week to basically plan it and we're doing we've got some challenges coming one of them is we normally pre-run these rides and we're not doing any pre-running um, it's quite a ways north I mean we're going clear up in Idaho and so wildlife I think is probably gonna be a little bit of a challenge I'm I'm a little nervous about it some of the other guys don't seem to be but uh, and then lastly there's just a ton of wildfires uh, they're all over the state of Idaho right now and hopefully we don't run into them, but we'll just have to wait and see. So for any of you that have ever wondered what it takes to film one of our adventure rides, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look. So when we film our rides, it's all about size factor. So primarily we use mirrorless cameras because they're a little bit smaller. And then we use GoPros and action cameras primarily. So uh, these are getting awesome. The stabilization is great on these and obviously they're small and um, we like to hook mics into ours because not only can we record the conversations we're having, but it also just adds a lot of quality to the audio. And for your adventure rides, audio can make or break your adventure ride videos. Also, another thing that we rely heavily on is 12 volt power, since we've got our power sockets on our bikes. So we have USB power through these, and these will charge pretty much all of our different types of batteries in our tank bag, which is super nice. And then the last thing is we have our Cardo Pack Talks. So we run these on everyone's helmet so we can talk to each other, jam out to music, and that's about it. Obviously, if you do an adventure ride, it's probably not gonna be to this scale, but it kind of gives you an inside look at what it takes to film some of our rides. So I'm gonna get this stuff packed up and we will see you guys tomorrow in Idaho. Full of candy. In fact, I found some Easter candy hiding on my shelf. So I stuffed that in here. No Doritos this time, huh? Uh, Doritos will come on the ride. I'll get those at gas stations, but for now, candy. I'm guessing you don't have heated grips? I'm guessing Charles didn't get that done. Let's hope it ain't too cold. You can do it on the trail. Yeah, I'm guessing that's uh, the seat here apparently isn't key. Or is it just because it was sitting in the sun? It didn't have a seat here before. <laughs> The last didn't. time I wrote it, I don't think I had a heated seat. <laughs> okay. Before we get started, let me introduce the guys that are going to be on the ride. 
First off, we've got Dan. He's back on his KTM 690. He's a lover of diners, dogs, and he's the best camp DJ out there. Ode to the thousand songs of the 70s. Then there's myself. I'm still jiving with my KTM 790. The only thing that's going to slow me down from exploring beautiful Idaho is those pesky video guys. And then we've got Ray. He's mounted up on his Husky 701. Ray is one of the best storytellers out there and is actually the culprit that got us started on ADV riding over a decade ago. Then we've got Justin, AKA Skelly. Justin is prepped with his daughter's candy stash and is joining the big bike club, taking the Tenere 700 on its maiden voyage. And then we've got Charles, also known as Chuck. He's new to the adventure crew on the KTM 500 XCFW. And if you take advantage of our how-to videos, you'll know him well. This is his first ADV ride, so we'll see if that grin is still there after eight days on the bike. After the Colorado ride, Shane's KTM 690 got a brand new motor, thanks to some hard work from Chuck. Shane has some fresh SD cards in the camera and is ready to showcase everything Idaho has to offer. And then back on the Honda CRF 450L, we have Josh, the man behind the lens. He's always ready to ask the awkward questions and stir up the dust on his constant battle to get to the front of the pack. Charles is our Idaho native. He's an old friend of our rides and will always have an answer to points of interest throughout this great state. His KTM 690 has seen some serious miles throughout the Western United States. Rob is super talented on anything with two wheels, but seems to ride his Husky 701 okay as well. He's a masterful desert racer, even though he's far too modest to admit it. He's always down for a little race when the terrain gets rough or flowy. Oh, what a cool little town. Little unexpected treat. I'm going to try really hard not to crash this thing. We'll see how that goes. That's the plan. Yeah, if it gets rough, I'm going to make Eric ride it. I don't do big bikes. If it gets rough, I'm going to ride around. <laughs> I'm gonna follow Charles. Carry an extra gas on Little Red because you don't have range. You're gonna fight. Uh, 160 to 70 miles. If you're lucky. <laughs> so my daughter gave me travel rock. Lucky Rocks. Lucky Rocks take on the ride. That one says I'm number one. That one represents a heart. Little girls are awesome. So you're saying the hot ticket is a little piece of Velcro on here. Yeah. And then you put it on your ram mount right there. Yep, I got the opposite. Yeah, I just bought the two inch from the box store. Nice. And just put it on the ram mount. Then it. When it takes the, sh the shock, mm -hmm. it doesn't come off. It doesn't. That's awesome. I don't even use the rubber band. All right, guys, here we are. We're just outside Arco. Uh, we've been driving all day in the Sprinters. We're finally loaded up. You guys know how long that takes. And we're gonna take off. We're, we're getting a late start, but that's okay. Uh, the next big town we're going to is gonna be Stanley. And so we're just gonna start working our way there. We, we don't know where we're gonna camp, but uh, I guess we'll probably see it when we get there. The best start to an adventure ride, right? It's the only way to start an adventure ride.
All right, guys, so we got a late start today, so we didn't make, make it really far. Uh, we got a few miles down, but it's getting dark, so we're gonna throw up our tents. We're just inside the Chalice National Forest. So far, the views have been amazing. I mean, it's very beautiful out here, but it is a little bit ruined by the smoke, which is unfortunate. There's a lot of smoke in the air. We're hoping that cleans out the next couple days so that we can see the real beauty of this place. But anyway, with a little bit of light left, we're gonna set up camp. 